and welcome to my channel. In this video, I've checked into the Affini Hotel Bangkok. I just arrived two hours ago and I just checked into this hotel. Um, this is highly recommended by my friend Nate and he has helped me with this booking. I was quite impressed by the service as well upon check-in and there's this um, swan being prepared in the middle of the bed which was quite impressive in fact and also um, they prepared a cake here so as you can see anniversary cake <laughs> yeah so other than that I will do the room tour in the morning because it's really 1 a.m. Take a shower and take a nap and breakfast tomorrow. And yeah, that should be it. So morning, it's 7 a.m. local time. It's 8 in Singapore. Uh, I need to work in an hour pretty much need to get down for breakfast and get back up just to start working yeah see you in a bit
So I'm back from breakfast. The spread is amazing. The service was great. So the thing is, the person that uh, brought me to my table actually acknowledged me by my name, asked me what I want. She even um, suggested that if whether I wanted to sit near the window. So I'm quite impressed by that. However, the, the seat was a little bit uncomfortable. It was pretty low. Uh, even though she chose a seat that it was higher, but it was it felt it still felt low to me. Uh, other than that, the food was not too bad. Even though I didn't really have a lot of options, but the thing is, I, I usually eat the same when I travel. So yeah, and I came up to the club lounge breakfast to check out the breakfast. It was pretty much the same as downstairs for the options that I have. So maybe I might go to the club lounge instead of going downstairs instead. Yes. So yes, that's it. I will start working right now <laughs> and maybe if I have time I try to do and squeeze in a room tour yes So I just came back from the lounge. Uh, I think I sat there from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Now it's already 3.30. And yes, so basically the housekeeping came. Yeah, so the fire alarm rang and uh, it's kind of like the, uh, the annual audit thing so I guess it's fine anyway they are uh, finished I hope they have finished it and um, yeah I can't remember what I said just now but uh, basically I was at the lounge from 10 a.m. to 3 and uh, I went there because I wanted them to do the room so the housekeeping actually came early, around 9.30, I was still in the room. I wasn't really ready to go yet, but uh, they told me half an hour, they'll come back. And then um, 12 p.m., I, I came to check the room and it's still not ready. So I actually had to tell the, the, the lounge staff that uh, to get housekeeping to do my room. And yes, I sat there till 2.30 and had the afternoon tea instead. So might as well, right? So yeah, so might as well do the room tour now. Before I forget, um, afternoon tea was pretty okay. I didn't really have a lot of options for the vegetarian. So it's mostly the pastries that's pretty good. I, I, I really enjoyed the pastries. Like uh, there was this Oreo and a chocolate tart and it was really nice. And then there's the Thai dessert and it burst in your mouth. The, the liquid inside. I can't, I don't know what is that, but yes, that is nice as well. Is they wrapped it with coconut um, fillings, I think. Yes, and what else do we have? Yeah, pretty much it. So I think all their pastries so far has been on point. Um, even breakfast, they shot pan of chocolate was really good. So yeah, that's that. Okay, let's do the room tour. So basically this is the floor plan on the 26th floor. Not sure you can see but I think it's so fine. So uh, this is the lift. You know, when, you when you exit the lift. Sorry. So I shall not point because the autofocus will go off. So this is the floor plan. This is the floor plan of the 26th floor. So as you can see, the lounge is pretty big. And my room is located on at, at 2604. It's quite a distance, so you can't really hear much of the lounge. Yes. So as you enter the room, you'll be greeted by this walkway. So on the left is this beautiful bathroom. It's very retro, very nice looking. And beside it is the mini bar. So before that, let's check out the cupboard. So there's a cupboard on the right. You'll find the safe, the 
iron and the iron board. There's also a torch like here, a fire extinguisher. You can also hang some clothes apparently and a, st a storage shelf for you to store things. Um, right below is a umbrella and some drawers. So you can actually find the uh, laundry bags and the laundry paper to write down and also the shoe mint. Apparently there's a complimentary shoe service, service. so I'm not sure how it works. Uh, right below is the hair dryer. And I think it's empty drawers. Oh no, there's a bag. A shoe horn and shoe brush. Pretty nice. Empty drawer. Okay. So this is the mini bar. So there's a coffee machine by Francois, no Francis Francis for Ely coffee. So I believe it's a capsule. I'm not sure how to use it to be honest. There's a kettle and the mini bar items where you can find Pringles, nuts, Oreo, Haribo. And oh this I think this is the one, the capsule. Is it a capsule? Yes, it's a capsule. So two capsules here and then some tea bags. So we have oolong tea, green tea, herbal tea, black tea. Interesting. So you can find the creamer, the sugar, and some cloth napkins and stars and spoon. So the mini mini bar prices are over here. You can pause to take a look. Two bottles of water are placed here. So right below it is the fridge. It's well stocked. Of course it's chargeable. And on the left is the cups. Alcohol. Glasses. And oh, it's not a drawer. So you find two more cup glasses and a ice bucket. Okay, I forgot to mention there is a instructions of how to use the coffee machine. So yeah. So moving on to the next cupboard, you will find hangers and a bathrobe. So there's also a cloth hanger here, mainly for weddings, I think. There's also a wing scale over here. This is a wing scale and a basket. So I believe it's for the bedroom slippers. So it's time to move into the bathroom. But before that, yes, there's two full-length mirror for you to check yourself. On the other side, there's also a full-length mirror, which is quite handy. So let's enter the bathroom. So on the left is the toilet bowl. There's a bidet at the side. And one really interesting fact is that they fold the toilet roll this way, which is kind of new to me. So I'm not sure anyone seen this before. Let me know in the comments down below. Um, also, about there's this nice structure, not structure, um, sculpture very beautifully sculptured on a canvas. I hope it's original. <laughs> yes, so on the right side of the toilet bowl is the shower. So, it's a rain shower and amenities, buff amenities is by Byredo, it's Le Shimin. It smells like um, citrus, yes this citrus smell. So you have all the full-size bottle here and what do we have at the sink? So this is mine. Um, there is a small mirror um, and a tissue box over here, two glasses of water, glasses of place here and there's also a tripping plug and a plug for the shaver and this is a tap hot and warm, cold and hot, and there's also a soap bar by Radio as well. Over here is the body lotion, 
apparently it's not the liquid form so you have to use the bar soap and on the right side you will find the amenities like the mouthwash the shower cap, the toothbrush, toothpaste, a comb the nail file, file the... I forgot what this name is facial wipes, no, facial cotton pads wheel buds and I think sanitary bag, shaver Honestly, I forgot what this is. Nail file? I don't know. Okay, let's move on. So there's additional storage over here. And um, there's a waste bin along with three different sizes of towels placed on both sides of the sink. Pretty nice touch. I also like this oriental. Not really oriental. I think it's oriental. Yeah. Feeling looking sink vanity okay let's move on um, so the bathtub is quite sizable um, but I think it's um, very packed for one maybe but anyway so you get a shower that they placed over here and then you can adjust the, the temperature here um, over here we get, get the loofah, the bath salt Pretty nice touch And there's this ylang ylang, I'm not sure what this is I think it's oil, essential oil Yeah, it's ylang ylang What is this? Oh, but more bath salts Pretty cool Okay, and two bath towels are placed above There's also additional bath towel Buff towel has this Anthony Hotel border on it. Pretty nice touch. Okay, let's move on. So this is the bedroom. This is how it looks like in the day. Really apologize for the night shot yesterday, but this is how it looks like in the day. So as you enter on the right side, there's this place for you to store your luggage or maybe sit down and wear your shoes. So the housekeeping actually placed the two bedroom slippers underneath the console. Uh, so I placed my back here. I placed my back here. Yes. And okay, so the bed. Um, what I like about the bed is this um, headboard. Hit, hit so this last, that's this leather headboard, which is nice to lean on. I tried to lean on yesterday. It's pretty comfortable. And this really nice oriental looking feature feature wall so there's also a bedside lamp and below you get a international plug and the switches master switch are behind tissue box and a glass bottle and the glass was placed here last night and it was still kept here by the housekeeping and yes there's this nice um, is it a lady? I believe it's a lady Think so yes there's also this wallpaper that is pretty nice it gives a oriental look all right so in front of the bed is a tv it's a smart tv and beside it is the study desk so the study desk there's two chairs for you to choose from one is a modern chair and on the right is a very old school looking chair okay so what we have here is this nice and thick stick bells and a place for, you, for them to store their magazines unfortunately, unfortunately they placed this book of extraordinary celebrations by the luxury collection apparently it's fought by all the different countries and whatnot so there's a desk lamp and here is a feedback form and a contact guide I think the in-room guys in-room dining menu is here yes you can get everything I haven't even tried so two international plugs are placed here I think this is a I'm not sure what this is I think it's the internet port or the phone yes I think it's the phone so there's this sustainability book 
more information about the hotel, I think. Yes. There's the restaurant lounges, in-room dining menu, directory of services, telephone, and safety. Yep. So yeah, this is the ladder that was placed for the fire exercise. And yes, these are mine. And beside the study desk is this sofa lounging area. So the housekeeping still kept the swans there. Pretty funny. And yes, they didn't clear the, the cake, which I couldn't finish by myself. There's also a nice lamp behind. And beside the other side, which is the other side of the debate side table, you find the TV remote, the phone, and notepad and a pen. Same universal plug. Um, bottle and a glass, bottle of water and a glass, and also the menu for the breakfast and the good night. I think this is from last night. They placed it on the pillow. Nice touch. Unfortunately, one thing to note, there's no USB. So there's no USB port here. So you need to bring your own charger. As in the 3 pin plug or yes, the 3 pin plug or the normal plug. So yes. So this is my view from my room. Uh, this is... No, okay, so let's start with here. So this is Plonchit BTS. So I think you can walk along this area and to the SkyTrain. So I'm not sure if there are other alternatives. If you have, let me know. So I've come to the end of the room tour. I hope you enjoyed this, um, this format, this new format of the video. It's kind of different from what I've done previously on the Wanderlust channel. And because some people do think that the Wanderlust channel is kind of like a sponsored paid thing from the hotel or somewhere. Um, but in fact, it's kind of like done because I, I enjoy filmmaking and um, creating videos of such topic or niche mm, and yeah so it's hard to film alone compared to the one the last where I was the one behind the camera while my, my partner was doing the introduction of the room tour so mm, yes yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this format I'm not sure if I would continue the same format but let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this kind of format. But yeah, I think um, yeah, it's around 5, I believe. Yes, it's 5. So I think there is the evening cocktails at the lounge. Um, I would probably hit there soon. I think it was 6.30, I can't remember. But yes, I would just need to work a bit more because I still have a bit of work to go. Yeah. Even though there's a little bit of emails, but I'm still trying to finish them up before evening cocktails. And uh, what else? And first thing I want to address was the fact that I pulled out my videos from the Wanderlust, and this is actually my first video of a room tour after pulling out from the Wanderlust. So, yes, and I think. My goal right now is not only to improve on the video quality but also the, the way I speak and present on camera because um, initially when I started the Wanderlust I wasn't confident in speaking and my partner was more confident than I am but yeah because I was better behind camera and everything but now that I have to do it myself so I guess my first goal and priority right now is to improve on the way I present the videos. Uh, I definitely hope to improve on that moving forward in the upcoming videos. But do let me know how to improve. Uh, it's a journey. And thank you for watching this video. If you have watched this far, uh, thank you. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, do give a like and subscribe to my channel for more. 
See you.